Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Sam. This is a reading today for Aries. There are no dates on my readings. I trust that when the message finds you, if it resonates with you, then it's your message at that time. Aries, I am doing your reading today with my good tarot deck. <clears throat> and I'm just noticing this page of fire at the bottom, which is almost wanting to be part of your reading, but I'm going to put it aside. I love this card though, page of fire. So the reason, I think the reason why this card is really jumping out at me today for you is because it's this energy that is not present in the cards that have come out for you actually, Aries. There's a real emphasis. It's really, the elements of the cards are really um, a theme for you today. Stronger than I'm usually noticing. Because one, actually a majority of the cards coming out are all water cards, water energies, but it's not even on your side of the story. It's some other influence. Your side of the story over here is very earthy actually, which is why it's really fascinating to me because it doesn't feel typically or stereotypically Aries. Um, starting here with the Empress card, which I know isn't necessarily an earthy sign. The Empress is very earthy though, right? All about, well, it's, it is a Taurian card, I believe, right? So, and just the, the look of this card is incredibly earthy. The tones, it talks to me about harvest, actually. She's holding, it's like the, it's like after the harvest, after the harvest, and she's coming out as well with this king of earth, which often has that message as well. It's kind of, it's feeling to me like after the harvest or um, after something has been completed. I'm also being drawn to the fact that she's standing in front of what I often read as a door. There's a message here about doors closing, doors closing, but there's this, there's this sense from you of almost trying, not necessarily, I don't know what it is, is not, it's not really a resistance, a reluctance to acknowledge, and no, it's not a reluctance to acknowledge that a door is closing, it's like something is completed, it's past the due date, it's past harvest, things are getting brittle and dried out, like the energy is spent, it is completed, and it's not a reluctance or resistance. It's kind of coming through as an inconvenience, perhaps. There's this energy that's a bit like, well, perhaps just not seeing or knowing what's next. But there's something here about holding, like she's holding this pose. It's like trying to hold on to an energy although it's already gone by it's kind of coming through a bit as um lack of flexibility maybe even perhaps or just a lack of flexibility in there's something here about it's just like holding on to it or maybe not having seen the ending of this energy approaching and so it's kind of left you surprised and it's almost like the energy has gone by and so you're still just kind of standing there holding the pose, unsure what to do next. But with the world card coming next, it's just more confirmation that something in your life is very clearly at an end. It's, it's wrapping up um, and it's, it's brought you to this place here, which is looking to me like a, a new path or a new energy beginning, right? And then that's where all this this cups energy comes in. If you look at the thumbnail at the, at the beginning of this video, you'll see that your energy over here is all very, I mean, even with these cards down here, this is all your energy in the reading. It's all of this earthy, earthy tones, right? And then over here, it's all this blue flow and water. So it's really emphasizing for me the absence of flow here. This is like dried earth you know when the mud gets so dried it starts to crack which is really fascinating and that's why i feel like this is this is a really missing element in your reading today but there's something else about that it's like there's 
There's this message here about, which is fascinating as well, because it's the earth. It's like the earth, the foundation which you're standing on, the situation with that you're standing within has kind of become dry and brittle. And it's like because of that, what is needed next is not fire, right? It's like you're, you've completely somehow fallen out of your own character or element, could be very much tied up with the circumstances in the world right now that, you know, with the world card coming next, it's kind of like, almost like a forced ending. Something is wrapping up sooner than you anticipated, perhaps because of this, because of this energy that's coming in, which could be a collective energy, a global energy. And that's why it's coming up as a bit of a unexpected, abrupt maybe ending for you. But, but the energy that I'm feeling is that if you didn't see it coming, it's, it's actually not, what am I trying to say? If you have kind of bumped up against a wall or um, a fork in the road and it's because you're perceiving it's because of the global events that are going on, the energy as I'm reading it in the cards is actually, they're kind of, they're simultaneous, but they're not the same. You're actually at this point because it was it was time for this. It's naturally time for you to move into a new element or a new phase. It just coincided. There's a lot of people experiencing that right now. And so it's kind of manifesting on the, on the world stage as a global event. But your unique, specific, personal journey is, in a sense, separate is what's coming through because it's because the reason why I'm making this distinction is because there might be a bit of a blockage perhaps in your ability to uh, integrate what's going on with you in the fact that this is this is wrapping up and completing because you're looking at it as an effect of what's going on with the world right now and that isn't the energy underlying it's not the cause. And so it's like that could be kind of holding you from advancing perhaps. But so what I was going to say here is that we've got this king of, king of water, king of cups coming on the other side of this world card. I was seeing this as a meeting of two, a meeting of two very equal energies. I know they're both kings. They don't have to be. Um, they don't ha don't have to be both men or even masculine energies, but it, what the king energy is talking about is that you are both kind of at the top of your game or, you know, very established or uh, just a, a really good, like a really good match. You're, you are like kindred spirits, although you're both focused in very different energies at this point. This one being a water element. And this is exactly what is needed for you right now. And, this, and that's why I'm seeing you're both coming together on this path. You're almost being brought together. There's something going on here where it's like you're brought to the same point at the same time. And I feel like this one has exactly what you need. Because it's the water and you're like this dried, cracked clay. That's what's needed is water being added to this mix to bring movement back into it because I feel like there's some sort of a lack of movement movement or blockage. It feels like it has to do with trying to wrap your mind around what is going on and trying to understand the energies or the phenomenon as it's occurring. Um, and so that's why this this fire energy wouldn't be a good a good match to you right now because it's like it would just create a, a brush fire, right? It's not, it's not what is needed right now. You don't need passion right now. You need more of like this emotional flow. It feels very emotional because the king of water is bringing in the two of water, the two of cups as well, right? This energy feels like a nice break from where you are. It feels like a relief. It feels like being incredibly thirsty and parched and then having this water, this gentle, it's really gentle. It's not like the tsunami, you know, it's this, it's this really gentle flow of energy. It's like coming into um, a spring, right? 
coming into the spring, maybe even after the after a long winter. That's kind of what it feels like, right? This is this old, spent, brittle, kind of over the winter energy. And this is kind of, this in comparison feels like spring cleaning and opening the windows again and having a breeze flowing through a stagnant space. It feels to me, Aries, like you've just, um, something in your life has come to a completion point, but it's like you've resided in it a, a little bit longer than it's like it wrapped up a little while ago. It's like you crossed the finish line a little while ago, but you're still holding on to it because you didn't see the finish line. That kind of an energy. It's like it's like you didn't realize you crossed the finish line. And so there's no there's no um fresh energy being added to this manifestation because it's complete, right? So it's brought you to this meeting point with this king of water, which is feeling really refreshing. I feel like it's very much another person. It's like you're you're meeting somebody who is just like this welcome, energetic, emotional shift for you. Because the messenger of earth coming next, which is still your energy, but it's much more relaxed and starting to have movement in it again, right? You can even just see the the kind of mood shift between these two characters. It's actually reminding me of, um, I went for this really long walk in the woods over the weekend and I noticed about halfway in that my body was just so sore. It was like my, my, my joints were all really achy and I was like, why do I feel so, why am I holding so much pain in my body? And then I realized it's because I was, my whole body was really rigid and tight. And so I started really loosening up and kind of walking like, like really loose, like really letting all my body move and flow like this. And it, and it really eased the energy out of my body. That's what this is feeling like. So that's the influence that this King of Water is having on you. They're very uplifting, um, playful energy. And they're bringing exactly what you need, maybe even just pointing this out that it's almost like getting a, getting like a really gorgeous massage, right? It's just loosening up your body and allowing the energy to flow again. And then with the wheel of fortune saying like, this is it's it's time for this to happen. It's time to kind of let go of your grip on whatever this is for you. I mean, we're all going through an incredible amount of change right now. And it's like, it's like you're trying to hold on to something. Thinking that it, you can, if you hold on to it, it will come out the other side of this phenomenon intact. But it, the message that I'm seeing is that it's, it's, um, it's complete. And it's not because of what's going on in the world right now. It's just complete separate from that. And it's time to move into this gorgeous emotional state, right? With the five of water, there's this really beautiful message coming through. With this wheel of fortune, it's all this here. This earth, starting with this empress and this, this holding the pose. Trying to hold it together, maybe even Aries, or you're trying to hold it to hold your emotions together, trying to stay stable, like not break down. Maybe you you know you're trying not to be emotional. That's what the the holding could be, and it's like just not expecting to find yourself there. It's almost like you're in a territory that you don't know really how to proceed through it. And so you're just trying to hold steady. Anyway, so messenger of earth, this these cards together are saying it's time to let this flow again. And I'm just seeing it as this gorgeous kind of like opening up and beginning to unravel in a sense, allowing yourself to unravel. Because this five of water, I'm just really noticing the spiral in this shell today, which is like the wheel turning. It's just talking about that it could be just your body actually loosening up your body, but it could just be allowing the emotion to sweep over you. It doesn't feel, it doesn't feel like sadness at all. It's not like you're, 
resisting feeling emotions that are heavy or sad. It's not that at all. It's like focusing really on practical matters and holding things together, maybe being, you know, an example of stability. You may have people depending on you to kind of be the rock for them, but it's like, it's not benefiting you because it seems like all of these cards here are very serious and kind of void of fire and emotion, passion and emotion, right? It's like this energy wants to come in again. This is you, playful, excited, adventurous, exploring. Page of Fire, I always say, is like exploring new terrain, arriving in, in foreign landscapes, excited to explore. That's the energy that you want to be in, but you're holding this energy which doesn't suit you very well and so this king of water is coming in to you know, kind of water the garden and get everything get the get the soil moist again and getting bringing in like mud and sensuality right and just like now I'm feeling like mud through my fingers and toes like so it's feeling very it is very embodied and like like I said, it's like holding tension in your body and this King of Cups energy is somebody coming in and giving you this gorgeous massage and just loosening you all up, right? This, this five of water, allowing it to flow again. Messenger of water and ace of water out next, right? So it's this really loving, somebody who really cares about you, has a lot of love for you, is bringing this energy in for you. It could be somebody new that you're meeting because they're definitely shifting your focus from where you are and then it's like you meet and everything gets really emotional and sensual and flowing again and it's really gorgeous. It's Messenger of Water, Ace of Water. It's talking to me about this, this King of Water that's coming in their main focus is just caring for you. It's like they have a pure love and it's like they see exactly that what you need. They, they, they see what you need and they are delighted to provide it for you. And then this page of water ending the reading here, it's got this kind of really gorgeous message of well, it's like the page of fire, the page of water, right? It's the kind of everything that I was describing about the page of fire, which is very much your energy about exploring new terrain, excitedly exploring new terrain. And that's what this page of water is talking about, except it's in the emotional realm, right? So it's like this, this new influence, this new helper, this one giving you a massage, is bringing you into this desire to explore new terrain. So it's like an openness to explore this world that they're opening up for you that's just feeling like a fresh, new, very sensual and loving energy. Could very much be a new romantic relationship just if like just at the very beginning stages but you're feeling very open to it is what I'm seeing very open to it and it also feels I mean I I think that the timing of it is perfection is how it's coming through with the world and the the wheel of fortune both coming out because it's like you're on this side over here holding this stance and then the world and the wheel of fortune usher in all of this gorgeous sensuality and it feels very welcome it feels very welcomed by you so i'm going to continue to pull cards see what else we can find out about this gorgeous new dynamic that is showing up in your life hopefully it's already showed up in your life and you're you're resonating with this and if not, if you're, if you're in this state here, Aries, 
I, I really hope this King of Water is on the horizon for you. If it's not, you know what? If this isn't, if this isn't a person appearing in your life, this is something that is the guidance is talking about moving from this practical resolve kind of an energy and kind of opening the door into immersing yourself in flow and sensuality, right? And just kind of allowing your body to loosen up again, right? So it doesn't have to be another person. It could just be uh, shifting into a new energy, a, like a different energy, a different focus. There's definitely a change from one state into another state and that's what's needed right now. And it, I believe that it's going to go through this kind of loosening up flow state and then at some point, all of this fire is going to return, right? It's like this, this subtle kind of waves just beginning to come up on the shore and it's going to, I think it's going to crescendo down the road at some point. He said, it's not time for fire and passion yet. It's time for this like gentle nurturing and sensuality. It's really beautiful. So I'm going to continue to pull cards, create an extended. If you're interested in that, link is in the description. If not, I'll see you next time, Aries. Thanks, bye.